Hello and welcome. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at how you can add Ready Player Me characters to your project. If you're not familiar with Ready Player Me characters, head over to the dashboard page on the Convey website. Notice that for characters that you've created, there is a corresponding Ready Player Me avatar. You can see this if you click through to the Character Creation tool. We'll take a look at how you can import these characters into your project. Back in Unreal Engine, the first thing we need to do is download the Ready Player Me plugin. Like the Lip Sync plugin, use the provided link to download it. We'll use version 5. Once the plugin is downloaded, go to your Plugins folder. If you don't have one, you can create it like we discussed last time. Open up the zip file and copy these two folders into the Plugins folder. Once that's done, we'll need to restart Unreal Engine. When Unreal Engine is open again, we'll create a new blueprint of type Pawn. Here, we'll call it RPM character. Now open the blueprint so we can add a few components. First, let's add the convey chatbot component. Add in the OVR lip sync component as well so that we can both talk to the character and have lip sync functioning. Finally, we'll add the Ready Player Me component, which is the component that's responsible for displaying the character. We'll also need to add a skeleton mesh to hold the skeleton of the character. Now we need to set up our components. Let's start with the convey chatbot component. We'll need to add the character ID, so let's head back to the website and grab that from the character description. For the skeleton mesh, we need to make sure that the animation mode is using Use Animation Blueprint. The animation class needs to be set to Convey RPM Animation. This is a bundled blueprint that only exists in the Convey Ready Player Me plugin. Set the skeleton mesh to RPM Mixamo Skeleton Mesh. We'll also need to make some updates on the Ready Player Me component. For the target skeleton, make sure it is set to the same RPM Mixamo skeleton. We'll set the avatar config to DA Convey RPM Avatar Config. Compile and save that, and now let's make some changes to the RPM character blueprint. First, add Convey Get Character Details. Instead of starting from scratch, though, we can copy these components from the MetaHuman Blueprint. So in that blueprint, just copy all these components and we'll paste them back into the RPM character blueprint. Connect them up to the begin play event. We'll also create a variable for the character name. Now let's do the same thing for the transcription components. We'll just grab them from the MetaHuman Blueprint and copy them back here. From the Get Character Details component, we'll use the Ready Player Me link. First, we need to make sure that the Ready Player Me link is available. This will hold the skeleton mesh of this character. If this does exist, then we'll use the Ready Player Me component and add the load avatar function. So basically what we're doing here is loading the avatar for the Ready Player Me link. First, we'll need to set that. We'll use the set URL shortcode for this, now connect it to the link, and that's basically it. To test this out, let's drag out the RPM character into the viewport. It looks a little big, so we'll just adjust the size here. Give it a few seconds for the new character to load. Let's give it a quick test. Hello there. Hello there. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elvis, a trader of jewelry. What can I do for you today? So what you'll notice is that even though we meant to talk to the new character, the other one is responding. Let's just fix that quickly. We'll need to open up the player blueprint, which is under the core folder. If you remember from the previous tutorial, when we press the space bar, we actually find a character of the actor class BP Brian. In this version, though, we have multiple characters who inherit from different classes. To handle this situation, we'll need to use another function called convey get looked at character. This function will find the character that is within the player's field of view. So remove these components and connect this directly to start talking. Actually, we're only going to start talking if and only if we find the character in our field of view. Hook up the convey character so that we are talking to the character that we find. Compile and save that and we can test it again. Hello there, who are you? Hello, I'm Zoe. I'm an adventurer exploring this area. It's so beautiful here. What brings you here? And you, who are you? Hi, my name is Elvis. I'm a trader who specializes in jewelry. 
I've been trading for over 10 years and love the thrill of finding the perfect piece for my customers. I travel around the world in search of the best gems, and I'm always looking for new and interesting pieces to add to my collection. Okay, so you can see it's pretty easy to integrate Ready Player Me characters into your project. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next part of the tutorial.